Ronnie, I want to say one wee thing to you. As I say, you know, you're the European, you've been involved in the game for so long. You must be delighted for the likes of young Michael O'Neill with Northern Ireland. A couple of years ago, he couldn't have won an argument. And now suddenly, with a wee bit of luck and a goal scorer in Lafferty, we're now one point behind Romania and well on our way with a wee bit of luck to qualify for the European Championship. Yeah, I mean, M Michael O'Neill is, is an all good lad, Adrian so he is. And as I said, uh, you know, fair play to the RCFA that they stuck by him when, when he was going through a, a difficult patch. Because the one, the one thing a manager needs, and whether it's international manager or league manager or whatever, he needs time. Obviously, you know, going into international scene, even though he had played, is a different kettle of fish than being a manager. And he had to get to know the players in, in limited time frame that he had. And he certainly turned things around. And as I say, it's all credit to him. He's, he's done a super job. And as you said, they basically have uh, one, one foot in the European Championships. And his team mix is a mix of uh, seasoned professionals and a lot of young lads that have come through the system. So somebody's doing their job right, you know what I mean? And there's a real mood of confidence down now at Windsor Park and Windsor Avenue. Like, Northern Ireland have never had a better chance to qualify for the European Championships than now. Yeah, but they're doubt it. And I think, I think obviously, when you know when, the, when the, they opened the door more to sort of so-called lesser nations, then obviously for a country of size in Northern Ireland, that give them a better chance to go in. But in saying that, you know, the opportunity is there, so you have to take it. And he's got that balance of, of youth and experience again, which will, which will stand them in good stead over the, over the course of the rest of the campaign. And you know over the years of management, when you've got a striker who's in form, who really every half chance puts it in the back of the net, like Kyle Laverty, you put was in with a great shirt, aren't you? Oh, definitely. Well, that, that, that's the most difficult part of football, you than putting the ball in the back of the net. And the one thing you need is, is goal scorers in your side. And as I said, Kyle Lafferty, Kyle Lafferty now is only 27, so he's only, he's only now coming into his best years. So Northern Ireland have got the next six, seven years out of him. And hopefully, as I said, the, the, he, the rest of the team can uh, give him the supply and service that he needs. Ronnie, it's always a pleasure. Thank you very much indeed for joining us here on McLean's TV. I hope you don't mind being inundated with McLean's, but your uh, Met Steel might have the, big, uh, have the big say in Cup final days. Who knows? Well, hopefully. Thanks very much, Adrian. It's always a pleasure.